Now good evening. Well, late afternoon. We are now the 22nd of September and the cattle now are just over in that far corner there. I'm going to open up a gap there now shortly, let them across this way. They were here working their way down and they're going to come up here and in this gate and go into this stuff here now. Now I had to make this video because I hadn't looked at this place now in a while and now that I'm back it's absolutely fantastic we can see all that plantain there now the cattle will absolutely love that and the grass is at its four leaf stage the leaves are as thick almost as thick as the plantain fantastic stuff I'm very happy with this now but this field here got very little uh, abuse, I suppose, this year. It, 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 the, the horse was on it all last winter. I took her off it in April. I let it rest. The cattle came in here in July. They ate it down good and tight, and I topped it. Uh, and now we're at the end of September, the 22nd. Now, I did say when I was in there that I wouldn't be back till October. So I'm slightly running ahead of schedule. Now, I think this is the only profession where you don't want to be ahead of schedule. If you're building a road or a hospital, you want to be ahead of schedule. But when you're farming regeneratively and you want a long rotation and you predict that you won't be back in the field for a certain length of time, it means you're running a little bit ahead of yourself. So the plan I have, well, where are we now, the 22nd. So if I said October, let's just say the 1st of October, I was meant to be back here or in there. So I'm eight days ahead of myself. But well, this is what I do in them situations. I have all year been using the cattle to tramp grass down into the, into the soil. I have been moving them on. I have been grazing it lightly only grazing the tips and basically putting money in the bank for times uh, like this well mostly for winter but uh, if I'm running ahead of schedule what I can do is I can leave them in a field that would normally be set out for one day and leave them in it for a day and a half so that's why I'm making this video here now in the evening time because by right these should have been moved this morning but uh, I decided to gain myself a half a day. So if I do this for a week, say, give them a day's grass, but don't move them for a day and a half, I will in a week have regained three and a half days. So two weeks I've gained a week and so on. You can understand my, my, my theory. So you could also make the paddocks that little bit smaller, but then they're tightened. I think a little bit of extra room at this time of the year suits them better. So make the paddock maybe just that little bit bigger than a day, but leave them on it for a day and a half. Now I have to jump this drain here now. One sec. Um, if I go for a hop, what can I do? Oh, Jesus. Right, so the fence is off. In theory now, these are going to follow me. I'll, now they have an open area here. I have no fences here now, so they can in theory go out that way and gone, or they'll follow me over here. So I'm going to act like the Pipe Piper. Whistle, walk, and they will be very happy to go where they're going to go because the grass is always greener on the other side when you graze the regenerative farming way. So here we go. We have this... Uh, we have this fence here now to open, so if I could do this one-handed, it would be brilliant. So, if this was live now, for instance, I would just turn that like that. And turn that like that. I probably missed that. But it's not live, anyhow. So, uh, I'll just walk back with this now. They'll learn very quick now that they're on the move. So I'll just throw this here for now, and I'll call them. Right, girls, you coming? Where's the bridge? 
Come on. Now, I apologize for the shaky cam. And maybe the sun is in it as well, but... It'll improve. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, over this way. Now I'll start moving backwards. I had this stuck to the back of my head now, it would work out grand. Come on. The size of the bellies on them, they are full. Even haven't been left that bit longer. Come on girls, I'm gonna turn the camera around now. I have to go this way. I'll walk ahead and then I'll zoom back um, when I cross the bridge. They'll have to go across this train here now themselves. They're well used to that hardship. Oh. Where are they? They're making their way. They seem calmly. So that's the story, anyhow. Anyhow, I might as well tell you now as well while I'm at it. Um, the bull is sold. The bull is gone. Uh, am I cracking out the champagne? No, I'm not. Am I all depressed going for the medical cabinet? No. But he weighed well. There's that little bridge there that's come across. He weighed well. He weighed uh, 665. <laughs> 665 kgs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna run. Right, come on in here. They're following me. In this way. Go on. Jesus. Go on, get in. He weighed uh, 665 kgs and uh, he sold for uh, 1,450. So it's a little over. It's uh, 220 a kilo. Not the best in the world, but uh, that's grass only. Um, he has bred 20 calves. Uh, at 30 euros a pop if you're to AI, that's 600 euros, so uh, he cost me nothing. I gave 11.50 for so there you go, full disclosure. Now these are in here. I know there's a couple of coughs all right out of them as they were running, but I wouldn't worry about that. That's how phlegm in their throat. They're not coughing now, which tells me they're okay. If they were still coughing continuously, I wouldn't like it. That's just because they're fat and not fit. So they're onto this lovely grass here now. I nearly ate myself. I gave them half here, as I was saying, so this is going to give me another bit of a day. Normally, well, the last time I gave them the full load, or the full, the full length there, yeah. So, um, that's the situation. No other news other than that. The weather's been great. We had a bit of rain last night. It's meant to cool down a bit now over the next few days, but stay dry. So it's ideal ground conditions. The rain came just in time. So anyhow, I'll finish up with this. I hope the uh, camera work wasn't too bad. But yeah. So look at we'll say good luck for now and uh, goodbye for now.